Welcome to the Mako Video Library series. I'm Jen and I will be your narrator. I hope that you find the information here helpful in getting familiar with our equipment. Carefully unpack all items from the shipping box. The Mako MA41 audiometer comes with all the standard accessories necessary to conduct a hearing test. Standard accessories include a power cable, headphones, a bone oscillator, a patient response switch, mic monitor headset with stereo adapter plug, SD memory card with WAV files, NOAA module, USB flash drive which also contains the operation manual, USB cable, a quick guide, and a carrying case. To get started, locate the jacks on the back of the unit. The headphones come specifically calibrated to the base unit. Insert the red plug into the jack labeled right and insert the blue plug into the left jack. Insert the green jack of the bone oscillator into the jack labeled bone. Insert the patient response into the jack labeled pat. Locate the ends of the mic monitor headset. There is a small picture imprinted in the plastic. The pink jack uses the included adapter and plugs into the mic outlet. The green jack plugs into the monitor jack. The USB flash drive may be plugged into the back of the unit in the USB out slot. This is used to save tests as PDF files from the unit. Or if you choose to use the unit with the NOAA module, plug in the standard USB cord into the USB in slot into the back of the unit and the other end into a standard USB outlet on your computer. The power cord is plugged into the power outlet on the back. The SD card contains the WAV files for the unit and this gets inserted into the slot on the right side of the unit. This card should stay in the unit and does not need to be removed. Your MA41 audiometer is now ready to use. Make sure all of the accessories are properly plugged into the audiometer. To turn on the audiometer, flip the power switch on the back of the unit. You will see the screen display light up and then the Mako logo appear. It will take a minute to boot up. Okay, let's review the buttons and dials on the front panel of the audiometer. The dials on the side change level for the tone or masking channel. Change frequency using the plus or minus button and present the tone using the blue button next to the dial. You will see the stim light flash when the tone is presented. The stim mode for masking or the tone can also be changed to interrupt mode using the stim button. Selecting this will turn the signal on and pressing the blue presentation button will then interrupt the signal. Press the stim button again to toggle back to regular presentation mode. The stim talk button is also used for talk forward to the patient. Press and hold the button to talk to the patient, adjust the level to the patient by turning the level dial on the side while the button is pressed. Let go of the button to return to test mode. Once a threshold is established, press the S key to save it and plot the threshold on the audiogram. Let's look at the bottom row of buttons. Transducers can be selected with this button. Press the button to toggle through the selections. If a selection does not light up, it is not calibrated and therefore not activated. Change the tone to pulse or warble with this selection button. Next to that, you can select to lock the stimuli of the two channels or track the channel levels together. Buttons around the color screen change function depending on the screen you are in. Press the button once to show the list of items and press again to toggle through the selections. Labels on the bottom of the screen display the current status of the test selections. Change the test ear with the button on the far left. Mark a threshold as no response using the NR button. Change the type of threshold stored and turn masking noise on or off using the button on the right. Level, frequency, and transducer are all displayed on the screen in the upper corners. Red or blue lettering indicates routing to the right or left ears. Stored thresholds are displayed on the audiogram. Buttons on the side of the screen can be selected to adjust monitor settings, start a new test which erases stored thresholds, select menu settings, and toggle between tone and speech testing.
While in the tone screen, select the monitor button on the side of the screen. Here you can adjust the level of the monitor of channel 1 and 2 by turning the side dials and adjust the level of the talkback using the plus or minus keys. At the bottom of the screen, you can also choose to turn monitor completely on or off, the monitor headset on or off, the internal monitor speaker on or off, and talkback on or off. To save your selections, press OK. To calibrate speech inputs such as live voice mic or CD, go to the speech screen. Then select the type of test you want to calibrate such as mic or CD. Then select monitor. Notice that you can make the same adjustments to the monitors in this screen as you did from the tone screen. But now you can also adjust speech inputs from this screen as well. Select InCal to adjust the input calibration. Talk into the mic or play the cal tone on your CD, depending on your selection, and adjust the side dials until the VU meter shows green and is not peaking into red. Press OK to save your settings. It is recommended that you adjust your monitor and talkback settings at the very beginning of the test to ensure ease of monitoring the patient and an efficient flow of testing. WAV files are stored speech lists that are pre-calibrated. The lists are stored on the SD card that is included with the audiometer. The SD card must be inserted in the side slot of the audiometer in order to use the WAV file feature. To conduct a speech test using WAV files, select the speech screen, then select WAV. Press the blue button to expand the selections and dial down to the list you would like to use. Press the blue button to select the list. SRT or WRS will be displayed based on the list that you selected. If you would like to change how the test is stored, press the WRS or SRT button to select a different test label. Set your level and press play to begin. The recorded words are presented to the patient. Score their responses correct or incorrect using the plus or minus keys. Press pause to pause the test. Press the S key to store the result. Save individual thresholds and speech scores using the S key as you conduct the test. Once the test is finished, the audiogram results can be saved in several ways. Press Menu. At the bottom of the screen are several options. Pressing PDF will save the results as a PDF file that can be printed out later. The results are saved as default to the USB memory stick. The USB stick must be plugged into the back of the unit in the USB out slot in order for them to be saved. The USB can then be plugged into a computer and reports can be printed. Pressing print will print the results to a printer that is connected directly to the audiometer. There are several printers approved for this purpose. Please refer to your operator's manual for make and model of printers that may connect directly to the MA41. Pressing Patients takes you to an internal database of patient names that is stored on the SD card. Enter your PIN to access the database. You can enter a new patient or select an existing patient. The results will be stored under this patient's name. In order to print the result, you must then also select Print or PDF. Lastly, the unit can be used in conjunction with a software module within NOAA. If the software module is used, test results are stored within the NOAA database on the computer and can be recalled or printed from the NOAA module. The MA41 audiometer contains many setting options that allow you to customize your audiometer. Default settings have been chosen to accommodate the most common uses. However, if these default settings do not meet your needs, the settings are easily changed in the user menu. Select Menu. 
Press the blue button to expand or collapse a menu set. Use the side dial to scroll up or down through the menu items. A description of each item is displayed at the bottom of the screen when an item is highlighted. Use the blue button to select and change an item. After all changes have been made, select OK. The MA41 audiometer is a calibrated medical device and should be handled with care. The unit should be stored and used at room temperature and extreme heat or cold should be avoided. The audiometer may be cleaned with a damp cloth or a disinfectant wipe. Please follow your facility's policy and recommendations for cleaning and disinfection. Avoid excessive moisture or liquid on the unit or headphones as this may damage the internal components. All pieces should be carefully placed in the carrying case for transport. When packing the unit into the case, avoid tightly wrapping the cords as this will cause additional wear and tear and strain on the cords and connections. Never swap headphones without having the unit recalibrated. The headset is specifically calibrated to the unit and using a different pair of headphones may give inaccurate results. It is recommended that the audiometer be serviced and calibrated once a year to ensure proper function and accuracy. Contact your local MAKO distributor to schedule an annual calibration. This has been a presentation on the MAKO MA41 audiometer. If you would like additional information, please contact your local distributor or visit our MAKO Diagnostics website.